Hi everyone, Dr. Scott Beyer here, and today we're gonna be going over what the big fuss is with this word right here, okay? And a lot of people we get in, they ask us all about, you know, gluten, is gluten sensitivity real? Um, but today we're gonna be focusing on this question, does gluten harm or impact your thyroid gland? And the answer is, no, but yes, and no gluten doesn't impact it directly, but what it can do is create a bunch of downstream problems that ultimately wind up in impacting healthy thyroid function. And the reason for that is, is this word right here. And uh, gluten tends to cause leaky gut. Now there's a bunch of other things that cause leaky gut, like poor brain function is one of them. But what happens is, is when you ingest gluten, what it'll do, if this was a gut cell and this was another gut cell, they should be tightly bound together like this, okay? Now there's a receptor on, the gut, on one of the gut cells, and when gluten binds to that receptor, that receptor will ultimately tell those two cells to separate from one another. And what that ultimately causes is it causes a large influx of larger molecules into the bloodstream and when we have larger molecules that get into the bloodstream something needs to clean those up and that something is our immune system so our immune system will create a little bit of inflammation to start to get rid of some of those things and a good example that I've heard of is that you know if you can picture like a screen door okay on a hot summer day and you have that screen door open you know there's gonna be things that get through the screen door like dust particles that you can barely see and generally that's okay but if you had like these big gashes in your screen door and now things like wasps hornets flies little critters are getting into your house you're gonna freak out and it's the same thing like with our immune system. So when there's larger molecules that get into our bloodstream, that'll raise inflammation and that'll also raise immune system activation. And if you guys have seen any of the other videos or if you've uh, subscribed to our newsletter or read our blogs, you know that inflammation can affect th healthy thyroid physiology in so many different areas of the body, okay? So much that we can't cover them all in this video. The other thing that increased immune system activation causes or predisposes people to is autoimmune attack. So if you guys have seen the other videos, you understand that the number one cause of hypothyroidism or thyroid related disorders in this country is due to an autoimmune disease. And the greater immune system activity we have, the greater chances that you're gonna have an exacerbation. Now, the other thing that we hear is sometimes we'll get people in and they'll say, you know, I've tried that, I've, I've been gluten free and it didn't really seem to help or it only helped a little bit. And one of the things I encourage you to do is to really watch out for some of these cross reactive foods. And uh, there's been studies done, uh, particularly by a man named Aristo Vijdani, and what they did is they found molecules that look close in structure to the gluten molecule in and of itself. So someone, someone's body may react to gluten, and it also may react to things like corn or things like dairy or oats. So those are some of the foods you wanna watch out for. The complete list is on the blog post that we're gonna be posting in relationship to this video. So that's why one of the best things that you can do if you're not sure is you eliminate all of these foods until you start to feel better and then introduce them one by one. So if you guys found this uh, video really interesting, I really encourage you guys to visit our website. We are constantly posting uh, new blog articles, new, new videos on our Facebook page, all for you guys out there, all for you guys to learn, to understand, and a better understanding of, of some of the things that can impact you know, certain disease processes. If you guys found it interesting, visit our website, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.